Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to recap game 40 of the regular season. Rangers over the Islanders 4-1. to And this was a pretty darn good game, if I do say so myself. So getting right into it, Alexander Georgiev gets the start, and it is a good thing, because Igor Shosturkin needed some rest. Five straight games going into tonight, and seven of the last eight for Igor Shosturkin. This was a rest well overdue. I'm hoping that after this game, they either give Georgiev another start Sunday, or... Or bring in Kincaid, but I'd rather give Shesterkin another day off because I don't want to overwork him at this point. We're probably not making the playoffs, so I'm not super concerned about that. I'd much rather give him some time to relax, to rest, and not risk injury since he already had a groin injury this season. So, on to the first period. I have one note and one thing that I remember off the top of my mind. Uh, 9.04, Migs Benajed for boarding. Uh, Flyers get a... Not the Flyers, the Islanders get a power play. I don't know why I have the Flyers on my mind, but I've done this video like four times and I keep saying flyers uh, and then later on in the first period towards the end he gets a breakaway and then mishandled the puck which was uh really really depressing so in the first period both teams just traded some pretty darn just traded some possessions traded some goal opportunities and that was about it a very uneventful first period on to the second 1355 left in the period the Rangers are trying to establish possession in the offensive zone, but just can't quite do that. Then, uh, a pass is intercepted. Capo Caco gets it. He passes to Filipino. Filipino takes a little shot on goal, but it was sort of a shot on goal slash a rebound chance. Lexi Lafreniere takes a shot. That is stopped, and the rebound of Lafreniere's chance is squirted out to the right side of Ilya Verlamov. I think it's Ilya Verlamov. It's Verlamov, I know. And then Lafreniere just happens to be right where his rebound is and goes, don't mind if I do, tosses it in, one nothing Rangers to take the lead. A little bit later on, 9.59 left in the period. Colin Blackwell has it, he carries it into the zone, and then he passes to Adam Fox. Adam Fox then passes to Ryan Strom, Strom gives it to Panarin, Panarin with a beautiful setup of Colin Blackwell for the gorgeous goal. That might be... I haven't thought about it, but that might be one of the better Colin Blackwell goals this season. Has anyone been more of a surprise this season than Colin Blackwell? Like, honestly, any other player. Like, I, I don't want to say I was expecting it, because I wasn't, but I, I could see Keandre Miller having a very good season. And that was, like, Colin Blackwell came out of nowhere and has been fantastic for the Rangers. Uh, and just a beautiful setup by Panarin, a beautiful, fantastic goal by Colin Blackwell to make it 2 nothing. Uh, a little bit later on, 5.53, a shot from quite a ways away gets tipped into the goal. It's going to be 2-1, but there's this pesky little thing called high sticking that's illegal in the NHL, and the goal gets called back, and it is a darn good thing that it was to make it 2 nothing again because 7, or 5.07, excuse me, uh, a massive screen in front of Shesterk, and I believe it was four players were all right in front of him, blocking his view, takes a shot, Puck goes off of Kravtsov and into the net to make it four or two to one. And like, here's the thing, right? I that was there's no stopping that. There was four people in front of him. He physically couldn't see anything, and it was tipped off of his own player. Like, I'm not blaming Georgiev on that whatsoever. That was just a bad. It was bad luck, and he happened to deal with that. Uh, I'll also talk about Georgiev a little bit more later on. But that was pretty much it for the second period. Uh, a very good second period for the Rangers. I thought they looked much better offensively than the first. I thought they looked a bit better defensively. Uh, the goal was a bit of a blemish, but overall, a very good second period. I also noticed there were a lot of no calls on the officiating. Um, there was just a few hooking, slashing, interference I saw it. Uh, there was at one point, I don't remember if that was late in the third or in the second, but a Islander just completely took the legs out of Georgiev. I noticed that, and I'm like, oh, so we're just not calling anything tonight? Uh, that was a little rough, but it it happened. Uh, so on to the third period. Uh, 1940 left. That's funny. Uh, there was an insane turnover that gave, I believe it was Clutterbuck, which might be my favorite name to talk about. Uh, a great shot on Georgiev and a fantastic blocker save by uh, Alexander Georgiev to, you know, knock that puck away and far away from him to remain safe. And then much later, 8-12 left in the period. The Rangers have a very, very good shift going on in the offensive zone. 
Panarin gives it over to Jacob Truba, who gives it over to Keandre Miller. And Keandre Miller, I assume, just went, you know what? I'm, I haven't scored in a while. I'm just going to take a shot and see what happens. And wouldn't you know it? Boom! He scored 3-1 Rangers. A beautiful goal from downtown for Keandre Miller, who now leads rookie defenseman with goals with four. That's three. This is four. <laughs> Uh, then a little bit later on, uh, 320 left in the period. Oh, this was a hot, this was a beauty by Georgiev. There was a tip right in front from point and blank. A toe of the guy might have been in the blue paint. Just a really good tip attempt. Nothing. Georgiev holds tight. And again, Georgiev was fantastic tonight. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, then about two minutes later, 112 left in the period. Uh, there's a scrum going on around our blue line and. Mika Zibanejad just goes, I'm going to clear the puck, and just clears it, and oopsie-daisy, it went into the goal. Wait, no, that's supposed to happen. 4-1 Rangers. A very nice, I know it's empty netter, but that was still kind of hilarious that he was just trying to clear it and accidentally cleared it into the net. 4-1, and that would be the game, how it ended. Rangers win, like I said, 4-1, pick up another two points on the standings, and... You know, this was a very good game offensively for the Rangers. I thought they rebounded pretty well from the deflating loss the other evening. Uh, and getting into some of the player performances that I want to look at, right? Um, I don't know why, but Fox had less time than Miller and Truba. And I like the Miller and Truba pairing a whole lot. I like Keandre Miller a whole lot. I think Jacob Truba is having a pretty decent season. I know a lot of people are hating on Jacob Truba. I think he's having a fine season. Like, I, Again, I'm not going by, like, analytics i'm going by the eye test which you know people might get mad at me for but i think he's doing fine i don't think he's anything egregious but adam fox is clearly having a season where he's going to get norris votes and might even at this point win the norris if he keeps playing like this he is almost a point a game player as a defenseman and i don't know how you don't have him out there for at least 25 minutes i think he had 21 and some change tonight he had like 21 and some change the other night, and I don't know why we're not just feeding Adam Fox ice time. It doesn't make any sense to me. Again, I love the Miller and Truba pairing. I love Miller and Truba. I don't know how you can possibly give them more ice, th ice time than Adam Fox. That just seems kind of strange to me. Uh, Artemi Panarin has another multiple point night, which is, you know, big shock there. He's Artemi Panarin, and he does things like that. A primary assist and a secondary assist. Uh, Blackwell also has a pretty good night. Uh, you know, the goal. Has anyone been more surprising than Colin Blackwell? I already mentioned this, but, like, he is just having a fantastic rookie season, and I am so excited to see how he grows as a player and how he develops going forward. Because, again, I've said it a lot. I'm He's not going to be a first-line stud player or a second-line stud player. Third line, fourth line, very, very solid scoring threat down the line. I'm looking forward to seeing that as, uh, or from Colin Blackwell. And then the last of the actual skaters, and then I'll talk about Yorkiev. Uh, Alexi Lafreniere has his best night, uh, in the NHL. I said it and I'm not going to take it back. I thought he looked fantastic. He had that goal, which was really nice. He looked far more confident. He was actually taking shots. He had five shots on goal. He looked confident and he looked comfortable which is very, very exciting to see from Alexi Lafreniere. I thought his stick handling was much better. I thought his skating was better. I thought he just was fantastic tonight. Still only 12 minutes of ice time, though. And this isn't like in the other game when I complained about his ice time when he had a goal uh, last Sunday or two Sundays ago against, was it the Capitals? Yeah, it was the Capitals where he had the goal. And I'm like, oh, how do you not give him more ice time? And it's like, well, you know, he did only get the goal in the third period. This is in the second. He had the goal, like, halfway through the second. Actually, not even halfway through. Like, give him more ice time, Quinn. Like, why are you not... Yeah. Ice time, ice time, ice time. That's all I can... I, I would have loved to have seen him get more time. I want to see him start getting more than 12, 11, or 9 minutes. I want to see him up in the 15s. And I don't care who you're taking away from it from the forward line. But you gotta give him more time. Uh, and then finally, Alexander Georgiev. Um... I think this was his best game of the season so far. I thought that he was fantastic tonight. 31 and 32. I He looked fantastic. He looked really sharp. He was stopping everything. The only goal was, again, a four-player screen, so I have no complaints. I thought Georgia was fantastic. I am more than okay with having him start again Sunday. 
like he looked great tonight, and I'm hoping to get another performance out of this or out out of him like this Sunday because he was just superb tonight, and I have nothing bad to say about Georgia tonight. Uh, so that's it. Um, a good night for the Rangers. They pick up two points in the standings. They rebound from last night. And that's all I have to say for this game. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And go Rangers.